It will. It will come back. We are a very close community. Because it's always been our community and it just always will. I was fine. I wasn't afraid. Something just told me that we were going to get it. In Greensburg, nature continued to hold its ominous hand over the city. Some days rain, some days sun. A city where the residents are coming to grips with reality. Some will stay. My family, I know we're staying. We want to be a part of that. Some will go. Break your heart. <laughs> For these residents, though, the silver lining is they are alive. So thankful that we're alive. You know, we've gone through this traumatic thing, and, you know, the material things don't mean anything when we have ourselves. It'll come back. It will. It doesn't look like it right now with all the devastation, but it will. It will. It may be a new town now instead of an old town, but I think it will. We have God on our side, and if you have God on your side, the future's here. We had three homes here. We lost all three of them. We've only been in this one five years, but I had one around the corner. Lived in for 50 years. <laughs> I, I believe that this town will never regrow. Well, it, the 600 back. people probably will be the limit to it. But we'll make it. I've had lots of difficulties in my life, and I've, I've, I've made it. I have three loves in my life. I loved my home, I loved my church, and I loved my job, and they're all three gone. And there's really nothing holding me here, so I plan to move on to another chapter in my life. Judy Marshall lost 200 trees on her property plus her nearly 100-year-old three-story home that probably had the best view of Greensburg. When the lightning flashed, I could see the damage. You know, you get out and then you see the outline of your house and you thought, oh my goodness, you know, it was gone. Well, most of it, it's just surreal. It's like you cannot believe that this happened. And you can't believe it happened within a 15-minute period that this much destruction and damage. It's awing. You know, you just, you're awestruck by what you see. I, I'm where I'm supposed to be, and when you're where you're supposed to be in God's perfect will, it, that's where it is, peace. After this, I don't know if there is anything here for young people, I mean, there's definitely a future here for my family, and I know I'll always come back here because, you know, this is my home. This is where I, I like to be. <laughs> I love it here, and that isn't going to change. Um, I know the spirit of Greensburg is still going to stay the same. This is my grandparents several years ago, obviously. You can go out and buy another sofa or whatever, but you can't replace all these pictures of my grandma's. Greensburg teacher Kim McMurray is salvaging pictures from her grandmother's home. Lots of old stuff. While the house was destroyed, no one was hurt. I just appreciate everyone and everything so much more. I mean, it's people, not things. I could care less if there was anything left in that house back there. But I've never been more proud of my community or my family. You just have to appreciate people, not the things. Things don't matter. Just my family and my friends and that we're all, that we all made it. So many of us, so many more of us made it than you would ever think to look at this. We have a chance to rebuild and it's not going to be the same, but I mean, everything we didn't like about what we had before, we have a chance right now to fix.